Hey guys, welcome back to this experimental tutorial on how to drive a DC fan using a MOSFET and a thermistor. Once again, guys, please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to SimTech channel. You are more than welcome to distribute this tutorial the way you see fit. Thank you very much. So in the previous tutorial, that was part one we discussed a little bit of how this circuit work and then we did a small demonstration of how the fan operate based on the changing resistance of the thermistor so as soon as the thermistor resistance goes down because of the heat then we have a change in the voltage drop on the gate of the mosfet that's causing the MOSFET to turn on because it reached its threshold voltage. And then we also cover the list of components needed to achieve this experiment. That is namely your fan, a resistor, uh, a thermistor, and your, your IRF and channel MOSFET. So in this tutorial, we're then going to continue where we left off. That is by completing the assembly of this circuit as illustrated here and after completing the assembly we're going to test and demonstrate it once more and then after that we're going to see how to select this resistance that is the resistance between the drain and the source that is this resistance so if you need a let's say you want this fan to turn on a 45 degree temperature what resistance value you need to choose in order to make sure that the fan turn at 45 degrees so we're going to see uh, the process of selecting that resistance so stay tuned and have fun doing the experiment okay so the first thing we will do here is to identify the pinout of our MOSFET that we have here so we know this is pin 1 two three so we know according to our mosfet data sheet this is a gate the middle pin is the drain and the last pin is the source so we're just going to bend this pin to offset them a little to allow us to do our soldering so the gate i'm go just going to bend it this way and the drain i'm going to bend it the same direction just a little lower and then i'm going to offset the source this way okay so now we've offset our three pins get drain and source so the next thing to do now is solder the thermistor the resistor and our wire so first off we take the thermistor that is going to be connected from um, the source into the gate to form a voltage divider with the resistor okay so what we're going to do is we take the two the thermistor and the resistor just tie them like this okay then we grab our soldering iron we just put in a little bit of solder in here on the gate and then a little bit of solder and a little bit of solder on the pins here then we're going to solder right there on the gate so what we've done here we've completed the voltage divider between the thermistor and the resistor and solder it into the gate so the voltage that is going to drop across this resistor is going to be the voltage that will determine the threshold to turn on this uh, fat okay so the next thing to do here is we know that this is going to go to the ground so we can bend this this way so we bent it this way and we need to solder it into the source so just a little bit of press six there and that bottom pin and that pin must be soldered into the source like that okay so now the next thing to do here is we need to solder the fan because we know now the fan need to come between the drain and the input power okay so i'm just going to solder another piece of 
wire like this. So I'm going to put some solder there. And then this piece of wire is going to be mounted this way. Okay. So now we need to put our fan between these two connections. So we can bend this this way. So now that we have that wire there, we can then connect the fan. We know this is going to be where the positive supply is going to be connected. So we connect our fan like this. Okay. And so the current is going to flow through the fan and through the drain, which is a mirror pin and down to the source. So now the next thing to do, the last thing to do here is only to connect the, the two wires for the positive and the negative of our power supply. Okay. So I'm going to grab two wires, the red one and the gray one. So the red wire is going to come here. That's going to be the positive terminal for our power supply. Okay. So we just thin a little bit there. Then we can just solder like that. We just need to keep this in place on the press sticks. Then we apply the, the solder and then we weld it there with our solder. Okay, so that is done. Okay, so the next thing here is then to connect the gray wire, which is going to be our minus or the ground wire onto the source pin. So we're just going to take our solder and our soldering iron, thin the wire a little, and we connect it onto the source pin right there. Okay, so we have our good connection done. Okay, so just to recap what we've done here now, we've achieved a voltage divider connection for the thermistor and the resistance that is between the gate and the source. So then the voltage drop across the bottom resistor here is going to feed into the gate. As you can see on the schematic illustration there. And then we have the one side of the resistance that is now connected onto the source. And from the source side, we have a gray wire here that's going to be our negative wire coming from the power supply. And then this top wire is a positive wire. Then we connect our fan now between the source, the positive supply and the drain so that the current may then flow from the power supply onto the fan okay and into the drain and down to the source to return for the electrons to complete their path okay so now i'm going to connect the power supply now so i'm taking the red wire and to the positive side and I'm taking the gray wire to the negative side. Okay. Then I have my fan. So we're going to see what's going to happen here. Now, as you can see right now, the fan is not turning. The fan is off. But the circuit is connected. I've got a 12 volt power supply that is set. So here is the power supply. It's an array power supply set up at 12 volt, which is connected. And it's turned on and there is my power supply probes that's connected to the circuit as you can see the red wire and the gray wire but the circuit is not running the fan is off regardless of the power supply being connected but the fan is not running now the reason why the fan is not turning is simply because the threshold on the gate here haven't yet been reached so as soon as i start applying the heat into the thermistor the resistor will stop start dropping and when the resistor start dropping what will happen is the threshold will going to be reached and the fan is going to turn if i keep on applying the heat 
the resistance will keep on decreasing and the threshold will go even higher and that will make the effect to turn completely on so that is what is going on here now i'm going to do one thing simply here i'm going to connect a multimeter that's going to monitor the voltage across its resistance so that we can see what's the threshold voltage when the, the, the fat is coming on okay okay so as you can see guys i've now connected my multimeter between the resistance the bottom resistance that's connected between the gate and the source and as you can see the voltage is 2.7 and that is way below the 4 volt that is a threshold for the irf840 mosfet so as soon as i start applying the heat to the thermistor you're going to see that that voltage is going to start increasing it's going to start increasing and you need to see as soon as it reach 4 volt you must see the movement on the fan so here we go we're increasing it we're increasing it we're increasing it and we're increasing it and as soon as we get to 4 volt then the fan start turning if i remove my heat then the threshold drops again and it stops and i keep it back there and so as soon as the threshold go way above 4 volt then the fan is fully turned on so that is how this thing is working but now we're not sure exactly what is the temperature that is reaching that 4 volt and that's the kind of calculations you you can do let's say you want your thermistor to turn on when the temperature is 50 volt I mean, let's say you want your fan to turn on when the temperature reach 40 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees, and so on and so forth. So you need to know what resistance value you're going to select there to get exactly the fan to turn on at a specified uh, temperature. Okay, let's see how we can determine what's the resistance we need there in order to get exactly the, the, the correct temperature level where the fan need to turn on okay so stay tuned so we can discuss that theory okay guys i'm going to stop this tutorial here so in the next tutorial we're going to see how to calculate that resistance value based on a specified temperature level that you want your fan to come on or you want your your your, your mosfet to turn on so stay tuned for part three of this tutorial how we're going to get to the bottom of that calculation if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to simtech channel that will be highly appreciated i thank you stay tuned for the next tutorial cheers